Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla! And today we are going to be drawing Luca from Luca from Disney Pixar's Luca. Luca, Luca, Luca. Anyways, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into that. And before you ask, there is an Alberto awesome tutorial. So now you guys can draw these two awesome sea monster boys together or separate. It's totally up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the Luca tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and make the shape of his head and kind of lay out like the rest of his body. So we're gonna go ahead and make his face. And his face is like, a little bit more of a boxy round face if that makes any sense so you're kind of going to make like an ice cube almost then I'm just going to separate give that nose guideline and then the eye guideline We'll go ahead and we'll shape this up later and we'll give him his facial features. So we're gonna go right in the middle for right now. Give him his head. And then you're gonna give a little itty bitty shoulders. He's still a little boy, so you don't need that big of shoulders. So, and then we're gonna bring this one down. And bring down this side. Then for right now, we're just going to bring out his arms just a little bit and then we're just going to do like some basic stick figure arms. One hand will be over here and the other hand will be tucked into here. So I'm just going to kind of like round this out and you can round out this part too because he's got his hands crossed. So he's still really skinny. So we got these really skinny shoulders and you're going to come down from right here at this shoulder, bring this down here. Same from here, bring down this part of his shoulder. And we're just gonna draw like the top of his pants. We'll just, we'll cut this off for his shirt. And you're gonna bring down this side of his pants and this side of his pants. I'm gonna make his neck a little bit skinnier, kinda just to bring out these shoulders. Oh, Pixar and the giant faces. <laughs> now we're gonna jump in and give Luca his facial features along with his hair. Let's start with his nose because his nose is the center and it's basically everything's built up around his nose. So I'm gonna start with here and we're just gonna make a simple round circle so you see like the nose guideline and then the eye guideline. So the eyes will be on top but it's going to be more of a sideways oval. I realize this side's a little bit longer than this one. We'll straighten that up. Then after the nose, you're just gonna go ahead, go right about here and make one really round eye. I mean, he's got perfect round eyes. And you put that, leave that nose in the middle. One round eye here, one round eye here. He's got thick eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and go above this eye. One thick eyebrow here, and one thick eyebrow here. And then he's just got his little mouth right below his nose, and it's just gonna kinda curved upwards. All right, let's kind of fix everything up a little bit. So the sides of his face, I'm gonna bring this one in just a little bit more. Make that face a little bit rounder here. Still going into the neck. Same thing for over here, gonna keep this nice side here. I'm gonna leave this side alone, but brought this one in just a bit. Bring this one over here. Still connecting to that neck. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these guidelines. off these sides of his face just a little bit more. 
bring in that neck a little bit more, just kind of piecing it together. Still got that like boxy round face. Then um, let's go ahead and fix the nose. So inside the nose, we're gonna go ahead and make one nostril here and one nostril here. And you can kind of accent this side. Same for here, bring out this nostril, accent underneath here. And I'm just going, you can use this with coloring, but you can go ahead and kind of darken right here. I'll keep this top line, but you can darken all underneath right here because it's a little bit redder. For his mouth, it is that simple little kind of half smirk but he does have like a little line underneath just to accent that little lip line. Then for his eyes, keep them nice and round on the guidelines. We're gonna jump in. We'll start with the right eye first. We're gonna go ahead and make another really round circle. Same for here, another round circle. Then you're jump inside of those irises. Go ahead and give a pupil. Same here. A little shine to the eye. A little shine to the eye. He's got brown eyes. I'll go ahead and fill it in. And I'll show you how to color this later. It looks a little bit like off because I've been adjusting, trying to make sure that the pupil and the iris look the same. But later I'll show you how to color it in that way. At the end of the video, you can just jump to the time lapse at the end and I'll show you how I color them in. But the thing you want to do with the top of Luca's eyes is make a nice, good, harsh line like around the sides and on top. Another thing is that when you want to see colored, he does have some really rosy cheeks and he also has some freckles on his face. And it's not too many and not too little. You just want to kind of go around and add some freckles here and there. And his one hair, his one little curl, it's going to go up here. So we'll start up here. Kind of looks like a croissant. And wrap this around and go up. It goes in front of his eyebrow. Then you have another piece that goes out this way. Then you have another piece that's kind of coming over here, goes up from here. And another piece. And then we have another piece kind of going out this way. This piece is going down this way and this piece is going to here. And then we've got like a little bit of like his sideburns here. And then from right he underneath his eyes, which is a little bit different, his ears are all the way down here. So his ears are all the way down underneath. So usually when you look at your ears in proportion to your eyes, your ears should match up with your eyes, but it just, I guess it's just a funny character choice. So his ears are here and then they're pretty simple. Just jump inside, make one line indention here. And it kind of looks like, you know, you make a little half moon inside, not a half moon, like, but a fingernail moon. So you go, make the indention inside and then you just kind of like go up into his hairline. Then for his hair, I'll show you in coloring, but just in case you don't want to color, starting from here, you're going to go up to create a fun little, like just the indentions of his curls. Think of croissants. I don't know if that was an intentional character design <laughs> to make him look like he has croissants in his hair. And then this wave kind of goes up. So it goes up. Bring this one up. And then this one goes up. And then these curls are going this way. 
this curls going this way. This one's just kind of like hanging out back here. And this one's going this way. And then this way. And that breaks up most of his curls. Then we'll go into Luca's shirt. His collar is gonna come up alongside of his neck. So actually bring up this face, bring up this neck a little bit, make his neck a little skinnier. Hmm, hold on one second. I'm gonna adjust this. Bring up his face to here. So moving up this part, you see the line that we did make. Move that up. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. Same, the neck's in this relatively the same place. From here to here. There we go, just making it look a little bit, bringing it up just a little bit more. That looks much, much better. So I have his neck for his shirt. I'm gonna bring down this collar here, and it's gonna be a little bit boxy. You're gonna bring it in, go right to there. Same concept over here. Got his collar coming down this way. Bring down this box and then go up. This side is more curled in and this side's jumping in front. So this one goes down to here and this one goes to here for his collar. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bring down the rest of his shirt all the way down. So I'm gonna lightly draw through those hands. And then the bottom of his shirt, one section's gonna go off to this side. And then one section's gonna go out and down to this side. Now on his little shoulders, you do have the indentions of where the, you know, the seam of the shirt is. And this one's gonna go round it out this way. rounding out his shoulder here and here and then I'm gonna bring out like the part where he has his sleeve rolled up just looks like a little lumpy right on top of a shirt we don't get to see this one that much because his hand is covering it up but we get to see like a little bit of the top of it so we have his one arm here And I'm gonna make an indention for that clothing, as well as come off to the side and bring out like the rolls of the shirt because it is rolled up. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this stick figure side. And get rid of this stick figure side. Then I'm gonna make one button here, and then there will be a button right about here. And then we have one loose button that's all the way down there. And then before we give him his stripes, let's go ahead and do his hands. So starting with this hand over here, before we can finish off the rest of this sleeve, his one hand is like going up. I'm gonna define it just a little bit more. Making this hand, one finger is going up. And then one finger is going down this way. Now another finger going down, and another finger, starting from here. Bring down this pinky, go in. So this finger is going down into this one, same for this one. And this, this hand is curled over the side, so it's like a bent pinky. So he's resting his hand and he's like kind of bending his fingers over his arm. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give him a good little knuckle line. So this hand's here. And just resting on his arm. And then this one is tucked up inside of his, the crook of his arm. And I'll actually go down below this one, create the other side of his wrist. And then that one is just chopped off, hanging inside of his hand. I mean, inside of his arm. So starting with this, this wrist, we're gonna bring down this, go to 
here. Bring out this. Make a corner for his elbow and then it's going to go up into his hand. So it goes right where this pinky's kind of resting. You're going to go right in the middle of the pinky where that break is. Where you know what's kind of bent a little bit. And then this one, you're just going to kind of like round this to here. Back into his shirt. And you're going to make like that little crook in your elbow and your arm. And so you have a little space right here. But this is his arm right there. So this is his arm, this is his wrist, and this is his hand going into his wrist that we don't see. So just like a pretzel, basically, basically. What am I saying? This is this is complicated. <laughs> so uh, for the shirt pattern, it's just like a really worn out old shirt, but it does have stripes, really, really mute blue stripes because it's obviously been sitting in the sun. So starting from the sleeve, you're just gonna make one line going down this way, one line going here, one line going here, and then you just see a line here, and a line here on his collar, not too many lines on here, but just one line. And then I'm gonna bring down this line here. And bring down this line down here. And I'm actually gonna follow through. And it shouldn't be a straight line. You should kind of like give it a little bit of wave to it because you know it is a piece of clothing and he's obviously got like pressure up against his shoulders. And I mean his shoulders and his shirt. So it's creating kind of pressure on the shirt, so you should make it look wrinkly. So you see how I make it go out a little bit? So it shouldn't be straight. And we're just gonna make a couple of cross lines here and a couple of cross lines there. And once again, I'm just keeping in mind that it's a weight, kind of a wavy pattern, so it's not straight lines. It should not look like that, like a perfect tic-tac-toe board. And another line right here and a line here and that's as simple as it gets and then we're not gonna do like the bottom of Luca we'll just go ahead and just stop like from here and he does have like one little like this is the top of his shorts but then the middle of his where his two legs are you're just gonna make a little indention here and that's basically it so what I'd like to do is go ahead jump into a time lapse and line and color this for you so that way you have a better idea of what Luca looks like colored in. There you guys go. There's how to draw Luca from Disney Pixar Luca. I hope you guys have seen the movie. If not, oh my goodness, it's my summer favorite. Yep, absolutely love it. And I will see you guys later. 